in this edition of It's Night Time. West Indian flair for the Knights. Introducing Andre to the media. The Knights visits Radio Rosestad. It's Ramslam T20 action against the Titans. The team bleeds for a cause and it is the season to be jolly. It's night time. With the Ramslam T20 series on the go, several of the South African franchises opted to include West Indian players in their lineups. West Indian cricket players have over the years built up a reputation as big hitting batsmen and destructive bowlers, perfectly suited for the shortest format of the game. The Chevrolet Knights met their latest asset Andre Russell at the Bram Fisher International Airport in Bloemfontein and was welcomed by CEO of Free State Cricket, Johan van Jerden. Pint van Bouillon and Shadley van Skalkbeck were also on hand to welcome Russell, promoted to Porters. Andre Dwayne Russell, born 29 April 1988, plays for the Jamaica national cricket team as well as the West Indies in Test cricket. A fast bowling all-rounder, Russell made his Test cricket debut against Sri Lanka November 2010. In the season 2010, he played at Barnard's Green Cricket Club, Worcestershire, England, helping them secure promotion into Birmingham League cricket. He took 39 wickets at an average of 10.15. He also led the averages with his batting, hitting 799 runs in 11 innings at an average of 99.88. He made his ODI debut in the 2011 Cricket World Cup match against Ireland in Mohali. During the 2012 IPL Players Auction, he was bought by the Delhi Daredevils for the sum of $450,000. He was picked up by Kolkata Knight Riders for IPL 2014 auction. In 2014, he began a second career as a recording artist under the name Dre Russ, with two singles released in November, one in collaboration with Beanie Man. Chairman of the board, David Ducknow, officially welcomed Russell and presented him with his Chevrolet Knights kit. Uh, Andre, welcome to the Knights franchise. It's uh, fantastic to have you. We've had some great West Indies here in the previous season, so it's nice to welcome a West Indian back, in, back into our ranks. Andre's going to be playing for us in the Ram Slam T20 over the next uh, five weeks or so, and uh, we're looking forward to some fantastic performances and also what he can bring to the squad off the field as well. So, wishing you all the best for the Ram Slam, Andre, and uh, let's see it out on the park. Thank you very much. Nice start. Thanks. Introducing a new player to the team is one thing, but even more crucial is to introduce a new player to the media. This was done at a press briefing held at the Chevrolet Knights. So, very welcome. We've got a great relationship with West Indian cricket before. you exactly the sixth uh, West Indian coming to Bloemfontein. And uh, the guys that was here ahead of you have really left uh, something to, to achieve. Uh, Frankie Stevenson was here for quite a lot of years and I, I think he has really made it um, his home for quite a long time. So this was a home away from home and uh, we wish you all the best and uh, thank you very much for taking your time up and hopefully this will also be something for a career that you can tick off and say that you have been to Bloemfontein and Central of South Africa, the Central franchise. So welcome and we're looking forward to your contributions in the side. The media also had an opportunity for one-on-one -on -one interviews with Russell, showing his commitment to the team with a unique haircut. The media also followed proceedings at the Nets, all eager to see Russell in action with the bat. Chevrolet Knights coach Sardal Silhier also taking the opportunity to go through the conditions and giving some batting tips. With the team now ready, it's all systems go for the Ram Slam T20 and even the players getting in on the excitement. Hi, I'm Shadi van Skalk. And I'm Diego Rosia and we are Chevrolet Knights players. We are both looking forward to the upcoming Ram Slam tournament and you fans should look forward to it as well. There is an amazing prize of 10,000 Rand up for grabs. All you have to do is take a selfie of you or your friend and post it on Twitter. So a selfie, everybody probably knows how to take a selfie. So you take a selfie, <laughs> post it on Knights, at Knights Cricket on Twitter and then you will be up for grabs to stand a chance to win 10,000 Rand. And this wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Kloppers and Newton. 
We'll see you at Chevrolet Park where this competition will take place starting the 14th of November. See you there, my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> In the run-up to the Chevrolet Knights hosting the Titans in Bloemfontein, the weather was not all that conducive to cricket with heavy rain. But a visit to Radio Roosestad's Janko de Wet promised an exciting match. Janko having a bit of fun with team management as well, all part of the deal. Well, my nickname in the team, a lot of people call me Diggy. It's pretty much pretty short for my name, so it's very simple. Our expectations this season is very underrated because we are a very young side and with a newly appointed captain and vice captain surely brings a lot of excitement into our team and teams can be way for what we have prepared for this season because we're very underrated. My cricket island thus far must, must have been going to Australia in 2012 with our 19 team to the World Cup. That was a very great experience for me and till today that must have been the biggest cricket highlight of my life. Come see us live and come support us at our next game. It's night time. <laughs> a perfect evening at Chevrolet Park and the Chevrolet Knights preparing to take on the Titans in a Ram Slam T20 match. But supporters were ready for a great match. Okay, um, this is my roommate. We're from Al Korea and we're going to watch the, uh, the cricket tonight and we're supporting the Knights all the way. I hope I can get that Miller and catch tonight. Hello, Papa Yanni. <laughs> Even a party bus full of supporters pitching to watch the match. Go guys! It's night time! Woo! The Titans found the going tough in Bloemfontein, with the team being limited to 135 for 6 in the allotted 20 overs. Andre Russell only conceding 26 runs in 4 overs, but it was Shadley van Skalkbeek that took 2 wickets and Quinton Friend responsible for 1. The rest of the wickets were due to shoddy running between the wickets resulting in runouts. The Knights batsman made short work of the target and Riza Hendrick scored 76 not out from only 48 balls to steer the home side home. It's night time! The Knights winning by eight wickets. The South African National Blood Service every year call on the public to donate blood, especially during the busy festive season, as demand increases significantly. The Chevrolet Knights decided to support this worthy cause. But filling in the paperwork, the guys were clearly nervous. To calm the nerves and to hide the inherent fear of the needle, Rudy II did a rather professional interview with Captain Werner Kutsia. Tell me about it, are you nervous? I'm feeling the pressure right at this stage. A lot of people looking at me, I don't know if I'm going to get through this one. Tell me, are you scared of needles? No, I'm alright. I just looked away. No needles. <laughs> To make the nurse's job a little easier, Rudy decided to show his extensive <laughs> medical training and background and indicate the correct place to insert the needle. Well, according to Rudy at least. All jokes aside, the call is clear. We need to donate blood and for a host of reasons. Don't let life get in the way of life. Make the time to donate. A point Werner re-emphasized. Um, we are donating blood today uh, in Bloemfontein at Victorian Square. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it's quite an important thing apparently. Uh, I am O negative blood type and it gets used, everyone can use my type, blood type, so I don't really have, have a say in it. 
I just get told to come donate blood. It, it's quite serious for people that have complications with labor or car accidents and cancer. Those are the three main reasons why you have to donate blood. So that's where we're trying to make a difference as well. It's the festive season and across Central South Africa, hundreds of kids in children's homes will have to go without the joys of receiving a gift for Christmas. But when the Chevrolet Knights and the Toyota Cheetahs hit the road as Santa's elves, this might not be the case, even the driver getting into the festive spirit. With the players on the road, it was time for some photos of the elves in action, from Facebook and Mum of course. Maybe the guys are taking being Santa's elves a little more serious than expected. But at the end of the day, and with the fun and games aside, it was all about the kids. We only want to thank the Chevrolet Knights and the Cheetahs for the Christmas presents. The day touched everyone involved. Rudy Second explains. Uh, today was a very special day for the Knights and the Cheetahs. Um, in partnership with Engo, we visited three youth care centres. Um, leading up to the festive season, uh, we just thought we'd hand out some presents for the kids, you know, make their day and make their year as well. So today was a very special day for us to be a part of something like this and uh, very happy that the Cheetahs could join us and uh, just looking forward to the festive season. Thanks for all your guys' support and we'll see you guys in the field. And to cap it all off um, from us, the Toyota Peace Day Cheetahs and the Chevrolet Knights, we'd just like to wish everyone a happy festive season, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and um, we'll see you all back from holiday in the New Year on the field. Place a red hat on anyone's head and they become a kid again. That's it for this edition of It's Night Time. Join us again next time for some more insight into the lives of the Chevrolet Knights. A Merry Christmas from the Chevrolet Knights. Follow us on Twitter at Knights Cricket.